Good morning, Remnant Connection. God bless you. This is Jackie in Oregon. Welcome back, my dear friends. God bless each and every one of you. Thank you so much for subscribing. We have a lot of new viewers, and I just give all the glory to God. Amen. Uh, I'm just a vessel. You folks know that. I wanted to take a few minutes and just thank you so very much for your super thanks in the comments section. You can give <clears throat> to the channel, donate to the channel that way. I appreciate everything that you do for me. And also the mail ministry is really growing. I have the second message that went out. And I think most of you probably have that by now. And if you don't feel comfortable uh, sending cash through the mail, I understand that I'm not going anywhere. You can go ahead and just get your addresses in and then I'll give you my full name. Amen. And thank you very much for the stamps that, you know, the I have envelopes, I pay for the printing, so praise God. So all those stamps you send me, we're going to use them, amen. And postage, I understand, is going up in June or July, I can't remember which, but they just went up in, uh, in January. So, you know what, but God's in control and he's seen to everything I need here. So I'm very uh, thankful and blessed for each and every one of you. Today's word, very, uh, very interesting. I read the comments and I had that 60 day word where things are going to change worldwide in 60 days. And many, I would say most of you realize that you that that with that bore witness with your spirit. We're in the last days, you see it, we're in the birthing pains, you folks know it, but many do not get it. And they said, you're on, on my time clock, I'm watching you and and that's fine. But I, I just can't believe how people can't already, and I'm speaking to the church, can't already see what's happening in Israel, what's happening in, the, in Europe. Uh, the rumblings occurring, what is happening in our nation and the rest of the West that is falling. And I guess I'm quite surprised at how much of the church is not in touch. That word was not a surprise to most, but to many it was. So I'm going to share something. I feel led to share this, and I might have shared it on the channel uh, when I first started, I can't remember years ago, there's so many words that God writes through my pen and so many uh, visions and things that that I forget. I've been saved a long, long time, over 40 years, so I can't remember everything. But often God has things, you know, uh, in my spirit so deep. I, I never forget, uh, forget certain things. And I'm going to share this uh, this vision I had years, many years ago, 25, 30 years ago. I was standing in the back of a church, and I was looking forward to the front of the church. And everybody on the right-hand side of the church had gray clothes, not white, not black, but gray Everybody, men, women, and children were standing very stiff on the right-hand side of the church, all in gray, the same kind of suits, the same just gray, uh, dull and drab. And then on the left-hand side in all the pews, the families were in what we would uh, consider flowered Easter clothes bright colors, flowers. Everybody was dressed brightly like they were at an Easter service in the spring. Amen. And I walked up to the front of the church and I turned around and on the right hand side, the people had no eyes. They had just black holes. Oh, even sharing this with you now, the hair on my arm is rising up. And then the Easter people had smile on their uh, smiles on their faces. You could see the joy of the Lord. And I looked down the uh, down the uh, aisle, their center aisle of that church, and I saw. You know, I knew that there was a plumb line being drawn down the church. There was a separation and we are see as the world is so separated right now, you know, the demons in the world now are eating themselves, eating each other. Amen. The division, the strife, you know, but in the church, I saw the right hand side, which was dead and drab. It was gray, not black, not black clothing, not bright clothing, but gray gray clothing and then it's you know in dark circles holes black holes for their eyes so I just 
the Lord, the Holy Spirit brought it back this morning as I was writing this word. And I thought I would just share that with you. You know, uh, the plumb line is that we are the remnant. You know, we get it. But many are still tuning in that just don't see and sense what is going on. And I realize everybody's working hard and you don't have time to watch and listen to the news. We can't listen to the to the news on the, you know, we're not going to get the truth. And this is why I encourage people to write in because we will be removed from this platform one day. I believe with all my heart, we will see it. And I'm doing what I think I know to do so that we can get these words out and encourage one another. So I don't want to spend any more time on that. You'll leave your comments. I just wanted to share that with you. Something the Holy Spirit share, shared with me this morning brought back to mind. And I just thought I'd put it out there today. Now, Luke 12, 35 through 48 is our scripture. The title of the word today, an awareness such as never before. And, and I hope you see it church. I hope you see it. If you don't, get down on your knees and pray to see all that God is showing his remnant today. Get down on your knees today and ask the Lord to show you all you need to see. An awareness is never before. So verse 35, chapter 12, be dressed in readiness and keep your lamps alight. And he, like men who are waiting uh, for their master when he returns from the wedding feast so that they may immediately open the door to him when he comes in and knocks. Blessed are those slaves whose master shall find on alert when he comes. Truly I say to you that he may gird himself to serve and have them reclined at the table that they may come up and wait on them. Verse 38, whether he comes in the second watch or even in the third and finds him so blessed as those slaves and be sure this that if the head of the house had known at what hour the thief was coming he could not have allowed his house to be broken into and you be ready for the son of man is coming the hour that you do not expect and Peter said Lord are you addressing this parable to us or to everyone else as well and the Lord said who then is the faithful and sensible servant uh, whom his master will put in charge of all of his servants to give them their rations at the private time. Blessed is the slave whom his master finds so doing when he comes. Truly, I say to you that he will put him in charge of all of his possessions. But if that slave says to uh, in his heart, my master will be long time in coming and begins to beat the slave, both men and women, and to eat and drink and get drunk, the master and that slave will come on a day when he does not expect him and an hour he does not know and will cut him into pieces and assign him to a place with unbelievers. And that slave who knew his master will and did not get ready or act in accordance with his will shall receive many lashes. But the one who did not know it and committed deeds worthy of a flocking will receive but few. And from everyone who has been given, much shall be required. And to him who he has entrusted, much of him they will ask all the more. Praise God. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord, for this word. Thank you, Lord, for your presence. Thank you for your glory. Thank you, Lord. We love you so much, and we pray praise you, Lord God. We thank you for this time together, Lord God. Lord, let the every word uh, sink deep within each one's spirit that we might receive just what you have for each one of us as we are all your servants, all your people, and all really in very different places. Have your way in us and through us. Amen. Okay, an awareness is never before. My people, now is the time. Now is the time. Glory. Be waiting. Be watching. I come as a thief in the night. There are 
Uh, there has never been a time such as this, my people. I believe it. I've served him a long, long time. I have never seen days like this, church, never. There has never been a time, such a time as this, my people. My spirit within is moving within you. You uh, you can sense it. You can see it. It's just ahead. The light, once faint in the distance, now shining brightly across the nation. That light is him coming closer to his return turn coming closer to when we leave this earth it was dim it was dim five years ago it was dim dimmer 20 years ago and 30 years ago generations passed and now brighter and brighter and brighter it's closer and closer my presence sensed as never before my uh my return comes suddenly, yet not unexpected. Glory to God, my people, my watchmen upon the wall now. An awareness such as never before in past generations. Glory to God. These are the days written of my people now. Uh, uh, it's not the time to grow faint, my lambs. Now is the time. Uh, these are the days spoken of in uh, all of time. Glory to the Lamb. Do not leave now to fill your lamp, my loves. Be ready, church. This is the time to be prepared. I come quickly. This is the time to speak my name and speak of my goodness and mercy to all who would hear. It is time now for all to come. Fall down before me and repent. Now is the time. And we are getting unbelievers that are searching coming into this channel they've spoken in the comments it is time now for all to come fall down on me and repent now is this time the nation's rumbling uncertainty and chaos rising I, I, church i don't understand how so many don't see it yet the nation's rumbling uncertainty and chaos uh, chaos rising even the unsaved now cannot um uh, uh, cannot hide their fears rising. I'm sorry. Sometimes I write so quickly when God's speaking. Even the unsaved now uh, can uh, not hide their fears rising. Children, the fields are ripe for the harvest. You understand a plumb line drawn within the buildings. My church, my people, uh, my church, uh, my people upon the streets. Now, when my church is needed, my vessels busy upon the dark streets of life. Praise God. Thank you, Lord. My people know the day is late, the harvest right, workers few. My lambs be quick to shake off the cruel words of the enemy. The words of the dying will fall powerless against my full armor of God. Praise God. Do not run and hide in a cave with your light. Uh, go out and be seen. Speak boldly, my lambs. You have the keys to life, the life-saving words and hope for the lost in last generation. Glory to God. Do not fear what man can do. You are my people, saved and set apart for uh, this time, this final generation. Uh, as all hell breaks loose upon the lands, my spirit fire is falling. Uh, my fire is, my people are on a move, pardon me. You know this, my people, your spirit is alive and on fire as never before. Glory to God. Your eyes are open, your gifts are indwelling, my people, as never before. This you understand as you uh, this you understand as you see a fire within my people. Oh, my loves, build each other up, encourage each other, push away all uh all your needs, uh, pardon me, uh, push away, uh, push away your need to be right. That's twice this week he's spoken that through my mouth. Push away your need to be right. Focus on the lost. Pray for me more and more. We pray for more and more wisdom and discernment. These are the days, my lambs. These are the days I will pour forth my spirit as never before. Suddenly the tongues of fire will fall upon the babes. Glory to God in the highest. Uh, glory to God. Do not doubt for even a minute that these are my gifts from on high. Glory to God. Seek me early and seek me late. Play, pray without ceasing. Glory to God. I will open up new roads, new places for you to travel. Even now, some understand these words. Uh, travel in my peace now where I lead you. Stand strong for the truth that lives within you. This is important for some. 
I will open up new roads, new places for you to travel. Even now, some understand these words. Travel in my peace where I lead you. Stand strong for the truth that lives within you. Now, my people, I know uh, there's, you know, there is no turning back. You are my people. Hear and obey my voice. I love you with all of my heart. You are called faithful. Uh, glory to the Lamb. There is no denying uh, the coming uh, the coming out of my spirit in these latest of days. You know, you understand, you hear my voice, you are filled with I, my discernment. Many, even within my walls, will try to take uh, will try to take you away with foolish nonsense, man's plans. Even within the walls, many do not sense the fleeting days. My lambs do not fall into fleshly traps that take you from my purpose and call. Keep focused on my divine plan for the last days. You are filled with my wisdom and my discernment. You are my watchman. Gently lead them to the truth of the days. Pray for them. Lead them to the truth and pray that they would receive fire from on high. Uh, their life depends upon it. And uh, the spirit the their life, pardon me folks, their life depends now upon the spirit for, uh, for the spirit. There is little time, my lambs, little time. This you know, this you understand. Stand strong, my loves. I come quickly. Soon and very soon, my loves. Be of good cheer. I am with you. Even at this moment, I will not leave you. I go beside you. I go out in front of you and I'm watching your back. I feel you to overflowing with all love on high. I am well pleased, my love. Well pleased. Glory to the Lamb. Thank you, Almighty God. Thank you, Lord. Second reading, an awareness such as never before. My people, now is the time. Now is the time. Be waiting. Be watching. I come as a thief in the night. There has never been such a time as this, my people. My spirit within you is moving within you. You can sense it. You can see it. Uh, it's just ahead. My light, once faint in the distance, now shining brightly across all of nations. My presence sensed as never before. My return will come suddenly, yet not unexpected glory to God. My people, my watchmen upon the wall, an awareness such as never before from past generations. Glory to God. These are the days written of my people. Now, now is the time not to grow faint, my lamps. Now is the time. These are the days spoken of all over all of time. Glory to the Lamb. Do not leave now to fill your lamps, my loves. This is the time to be prepared. I come quickly. This is the time to speak my name, speak of my goodness and my mercy to all who would hear. It is time now for all to come and fall down before me. Now is the time. The nation's rumbling, uncertainty, chaos rising. Even the unsaved cannot hide their fear arising. Children, the fields are ripe for harvest, praise God. You understand a plumb line drawn within the buildings. My church, my people upon the streets now is when my church is needed. My vessels busy upon the dark streets of life. Praise God. Thank you, Lord. My people know the day is late, the harvest ripe. Workers few be quick to shake off the cruel words of the enemy. The words of the dying do fall powerless against my full armor of God. Do not run and hide in a cave. Let your light shine. Go out, be seen, speak boldly, my lambs. You have the keys to life, the life-saving words, hope for a lost generation. Do not fear what man can do. You are my people, safe, set apart for this final generation. As all hell breaks loose upon the lands, the spirit of fire is falling. My fire is on a move. You know, my people, your spirit is alive in you as never before. Your eyes are open. Your gifts indwelling, my people, as never before. This you understand as you see the fire within. Oh, my loves, build each other up. Encourage each other. Push away your need to be right. Push away your need to be right. Focus on the lost. Pray for more and more wisdom and discernment. These are the days, my 
land. These are the days. I will pour out my spirit as never before. Suddenly the tongues of fire will fall upon the babes. Glory to God in the highest. Do not doubt for even a moment. These are my gifts from on high. Seek me early and seek me late. Pray without ceasing. I will open up new roads, new places for you to travel. Even now, some understand these words. Traveling in my peace now where I lead you, stand strong for the truth that lives within you. Now, my people, I know that there is no, you know, there is no turning back. You are my people. My people hear and obey my voice. I love you with all of my heart. You are my called faithful glory to the lamb there is no denying what is coming from your spirit in these late days you know you understand you hear my voice you are filled with my discernment even within my walls uh they will try uh to uh, take you away with foolish nonsense and man's plans. Even within the walls, many do not sense the fleeting days. My lambs do not fall into fleshly traps that take you from my purpose and call. Keep focused on my divine plan for your last days. You are filled with my wisdom and discernment. You are my watchman. Gently lead them to the truth of the day. Pray for them. Lead them to the truth and pray that they would receive fire from on high. Their life depends upon it. Um, all that the Spirit has for them. There is little time, my lambs, little time. This you know, this you understand. Stand strong, my loves. I come quickly, soon and very soon, my loves. Be of good cheers. I am with you from this moment. I will not leave your side. I will go before. I watch your back. I will fill you to overflowing with my love on high. I am well pleased, my love, well pleased. Glory to the Lamb. Thank you, Almighty God. Thank you, Almighty God. Bless you, Lord. We give you glory and honor. We praise your holy name, Lord God. We are so thankful, Lord, to be a chosen generation, the last generation to serve, Lord God. Open our eyes, Lord God. Open our eyes even more, Lord God. Fill us more and more with your wisdom and discernment, Lord God, that we might see, that we might know as you see and you know, Almighty God. We thank you for the Holy Spirit that moves through us. We thank you for the gifts of the Spirit, Lord God. I thank you, Lord, for each one listening today, Lord God. I pray, Lord, the power of God fall upon your people in Jesus' name as never before, that they would speak out in tongues of fire, Lord God, that, Lord, you would have your perfect will in their life. And Lord, we pray for each nation representative. We pray here for the peace of Israel. Our friends from Israel are on this channel. We pray about this war. We pray God's perfect will. We pray the blood covering be upon uh, your land, God's land, your people, God's people. Oh, Holy Lamb of God, bless each one listening today. Save their family members, Lord God. We put each one upon your altar and we pray in faith for the day of their salvation, Lord. You are able, only you are able, Lord God. The blood covering be upon each one today. In Jesus' name, the blood that protects from all plan and assignment from the enemy. In Jesus' name, thy will be done today on earth as it is in heaven in each one's life this day in time in Jesus name. God bless you. God loves you. His light shine upon you. God bless.